Hi, just a quick update on my uh, Reclaim uh, heat pump hot water system that I installed to replace my gas hot water system. You've no doubt seen the videos and uh, I've got some additional data in addition to the uh, main installation and analysis video because I got and an update on my solar analytics system. I got the uh, solar analytics system back up and running. It took a while. They had to enable it and... Uh, I don't know what the delay was. Anyway, it's back. And here is today's data. And um, yes, I installed all the uh, current transformers correctly. It's always a uh, you know, suck it and see uh, kind of thing. And <laughs> I got it right. Anyway, um, we can now see the heat pump because I've got one of, you can see hot water here. This is the actual um, data that we can turn off and on. You can see that today, hang on. Do we, can we, oh, yep, there we go. Today, it turned on at 10 a.m., exactly when it was uh, supposed to. So it took, looks like it, did it take 10 minutes for the um, power to ramp up there? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm not sure, maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, the solar analytics system only monitors in five-minute increments for the long-term data limit. Uh, like this, I can actually go into a real-time monitoring system where it updates every five seconds or something like that um but yeah we don't have that so th this is today's data so what we've got here is uh we've got let me turn everything else off we've got this is the uh, yellow is of course the sun this is the uh, solar output even though um we are uh, in summertime here if you didn't know it's summertime here in australia and uh reached a peak about 12 45 p.m today it was a perfect day until yes the sun did practically vanish. I was only producing 150 watts because like a really bad storm came over, like black as the ace of spades. And yeah, it just it died in the ass. Look at that. 150 watts. So I've got a nominal eight kilowatt uh, system, of course. But because I've done a video on this, I've got uh, an end phase system that uses microinverters are only 295 watt microinverters on my 370 watt panel. So I'm not never going to get more than 295 watts peak out of my 370 watt panels anyway i've done a video on that and well you know there's pros and cons to that um, probably mostly cons when it comes to peak power power production especially you know if you're charging your ev and you're doing other stuff but anyway it's not a problem anyway we will get in six i don't know what the solar insulation is today so whatever um 6.24 kilowatts anyway this is usually not peak time peak time is usually like mid-january um, in terms of solar insulation. So we're not quite there at the peak. I'm just explaining why I don't get my 8 kilowatts out. Um, anyway, so we're getting 6.23 kilowatts there. Uh, so I've got two systems, of course. I've got the uh, uh, 5 kilowatt nominal in-phase system and the 3 kilowatt existing old school system with 12 250 watt panels in a string inverter going to a sunny boy, hopefully to upgrade that. Anyway, look at this, right? Perfect curve. You can see in the morning, like there's trees actually uh, shading the... Uh, east side panels where the sun rises in the east of course so they're shading those so it's sort of that's why it's got a sort of a bit of big larger ramp up there otherwise it'd be much uh, smoother than that anyway um so that's my solar output for the day so just assume just hold your tongue at the right angle uh, uh, assume that's a perfect curve because we'll have a look at that in a minute but anyway we can look at the how much energy the hot water system uses so isn't look this is the blue line here fantastic hey look, look at this so we can measure it you can see 870 watts there 880 so you know it's well under the one kilowatt rating there in fact it never gets i don't think it gets over one kilowatt today point ah oh, 0 0.98 0 0.98 kilowatts there you go it was quite hot today i'm not sure of the maximum temperature but just geez i think it was probably at least 30 today um it was pretty hot so yeah um so that'll um help with the efficiency but there you go it turned on at 10 a.m as it's supposed to it's got a timer based system so i use my solar energy so i'm effectively getting free hot water now because well you know after <laughs> assuming you know payback and all that sort of stuff but it basically um yeah it is well, there we go uh, from from 10 a.m and it runs from 10 a.m to 4 p.m but it shuts off early when it's done when it's reached that 58 degrees temperature and you can see anyway the interesting thing to note here is how little energy I am using. 
uh, compared to my solar production here. And this is a great visual representation of this. It's absolutely fantastic because it's the energy is the area under the curve here. So all that area under the curve there, I can't draw it in, but all that energy under the curve, under the blue curve there, is the energy that it takes to heat up my 410 litre um, hot water tank heat pump using the heat pump system. We don't use the whole 410 litres overnight. We're probably using only 120, 150 litres or something like that. But still, right, it doesn't take much at all, right, compared to the total area under the curve. So this is what you've got to compare here. The area under the blue curve compared to the area under the yellow curve, which is our solar produced here. And of course, our consumption figures here. Uh, the uh, This is a timer, this this peak here. Um, it shows up brown because it's it's mixed with <laughs> yellow there. But uh, yeah, the purple one is, you know, these are all fridges. These are our three uh, fridges. Like, and there's something happened. Mrs. Evie, blog, kids woke up, did something. I don't know, whatever, lights come on, things happen right in the morning. And then uh, peak. Like this, this is when our dishwasher came on because I set the timer this morning for the dishwasher. So that uses uh, peak solar power. We didn't charge the EV today. Um, so yeah, this was like in addition to the baseline. If this wasn't here, if the, if the heat pump didn't turn on, then all this would have been lower. You wouldn't have had this like step up like you can actually see here like this. But anyway, there you go. That's um, interesting. And then, yeah, at night time, you know, we're doing cooking and uh, watching and doing everything right. All the lights are on, all that sort of stuff. There's no air con today. The air con's not, not hooked up yet. Um, so I might do that separately because I've now got a six channel solar analytics system instead of a three channel. So I can do this sort of stuff. Um, unfortunately, I'm waiting for them to add my ability to like change and to set up the channels, set up the hardware channels. I can't change the names. I can't do anything. They claim I can, but the menu option is just not there. So I don't know. I've got, maybe I've got an old account that doesn't have the access. I don't know. So I assume they're working on that. Please, can I, you know, I want to fiddle with the current transformers. I want to rearrange them and change them and change these names. And what, what is other? Other's just a nothing burger, right? I don't even know which physical channel other is, right? So anyway, um, so yeah, but I've, I've, I've done. So what is, what is your best guess? for the ratio of the area under this curve versus the area under this curve. Huh? 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 Answer in the comments down below. Spoiler alert, come in. Spoiler alert. I've already done this using my Earthen View, my massive advanced Earthen View skills, um, <laughs> Earthen Paint, and I've copied the area of that roughly, okay? So I've copied it out here like this and count them. Four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So it's roughly this one juts out here, but that compensates for the loss here. So just imagine you had a perfect day. It's not quite in the middle of summer, it's just the start of summer here. But start of summer, okay, it's one sixteenth of the energy that my solar energy cells, <laughs> that my home solar system produces. I don't have a huge, you know, I'm eight eight kilowatts is a decent system, but it's not absolutely massive. Right, and we've got a family of four, so you can see how little a heat pump hot water system, the energy it takes. Of course, in winter time, you know, it might peak at four, four and a half. So I think it's about four, four and a half, something like that, um, in, in the middle of winter. So you know, you've got less usable energy. But in, in some start of summer here, wow, one sixteenth. That's only like six percent. So our uh, heating up our hot hot water takes six percent of the capacity roughly of our home solar system and you set the timer during the day and it comes on and it's free energy beauty huh that's a that's a bobby dazzler that is a, like i you know you really just don't get a, a gist for how little energy this heat pump system uses until you actually look at the area under the curve right and of course if you get you know bad day i mean we can actually go back we actually did get a day yesterday oh, didn't we i thought i thought i got Sunday's data. No. Really? Oh, no, I'm not I'm not logged in. Uh, what's 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 going on? Something's happened. Uh, hang on. No, it's coming gutsa. Anyway, um yeah, you don't always get your perfect day. It's gone. <laughs> anyway, so you know, it comes in and out, but still, right? There you go. Um so I hope you found that interesting. Like 6% of my solar capacity. 
now heats my water in summertime on a decent day. <laughs> that sniff of an oily rag stuff. Unbelievable. I like this new heat pump system. It's great. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.